Hello and welcome to Shuffling Notes, where we discuss songs, albums, artists, and all things music. Today, we have something special planned for you. Welcome to Shuffling Notes, and this is uh, this is episode one of Nights of the Turntables. So I'm your co-host, Prankit. I'm your co-host, Razi. And today we'll be discussing a band called Coldplay, specifically their sixth studio album called Ghost Stories. And we have someone very special to discuss this album with, uh, Coldplay's number one super fan, Suraj. <laughs> hey, hey guys. Hello. How are you doing, Suraj? I'm, I'm doing great. How are you guys? So, yeah, good, good. Uh, mm -hmm. Looking forward to this discussion. Um, yeah, this is the very same. first time we've had a guest on. But I think yeah. it's always nice to get different perspectives, uh, especially one from a super fan. No, I am. <laughs> you, you have to put the super fan tag next to you know when the names come up. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, Coldplay were a British rock band uh, formed in London in 1996, uh, comprised of uh, Chris Martin, who is the vocalist, rhythm guitarist, and pianist and the lead guitarist, Johnny Buckland, uh, bassist, Guy Berryman, and drummer, Will Champion. Was that, was that correct, Suraj? Yeah, that's, that's right. But all I know is that I think Johnny and Chris Martin met each other in 1996, um, where they were studying, and uh, the first single that they recorded was in 1998, if I'm not wrong. Oh, interesting, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, they, they, I mean, the album came, the album, the band came to prominence, I think, with the song Yellow um, yeah, in 2000, correct. right? That really pushed them into the limelight. Yeah. Uh, but we're actually discussing Ghost Stories, the sixth uh, studio album, which was released in 2014. Um, so, Suraj, you know, I, let's start with you. What was your sort of impressions of Ghost Stories? And, uh, you know, as you, you're the one who actually selected this album, uh, yeah. I just wanted to get a bit more context of why Ghost Stories. Um, so it's weird that I had heard other songs of Coldplay, like, you know, Parachutes. Um, I had heard the album Parachute, but uh, Rush of Blood to the Head, The Scientist, Fix You, like, you know, all of those popular songs, A Sky Full of Stars. But um, Ghost Stories was this one album which just came in and I listened to the whole thing and, you know, it came in like a breeze. So yeah. uh, it has such a sadness in it, like, you know, it's all blue. The, the whole album is so blue. And the, the best thing about the album is that, you know, uh, it it kind of reminds me of the dark side of the moon. I'll tell you, there's a reason, there's a particular reason for that. Because the whole album, <laughs> the whole album uh, sounds like one track. If you listen to it carefully, uh, they do that. Right. So, which was, which was yeah. quite well done. And um, yeah, I mean, that was one thing. And obviously, like, you know, the kind of soothing um, synth effect or like the, the way they've uh, used electronic music with such sadness was something yeah. very appealing to me. Like, yeah. you know, they, they, they made really good songs before that and I love all of their songs. I, I've listened to each and every song of theirs, but yeah. uh, Ghost Story was something which was really personal to me. Yeah, like, you know, just set it apart a little bit for you. Yeah, yeah. Um, interesting, yeah. How about you, Razi? You, you... Uh... Were you a big fan at the oh. time Ghost Stories came out? Was it an album you were looking forward to or was it something you yeah. heard afterwards? I think I think uh, Ghost Stories would be the first uh, Coldplay album that I was looking forward to listen to. Like, oh, I think okay. uh, this was, this was uh, uh, after this online marketing trend and yeah. uh, social media platforms and everything started. And that's when Ghost Stories, like there's Ghost Stories going to be announced. And then I was having a lookout for Ghost Stories. Yeah. And, um, but I was just, uh, I was going to point out the same thing, like every song ends on a note similar that's going to start for the next, for the next yeah. song, yeah. right? <laughs> and, it flows, it flows uh, very well. That, yeah. So that's true. I mean, Dark Side of the Moon is a, I mean, it's the perfect reference, I guess. <laughs> yeah. yeah, interesting one. Uh, yeah, I think for, for myself, you know, it was, I've, I've, I'd heard of Coldplay quite a bit, but I wasn't. And I never have been very aware of their music. Like I've heard a lot of their songs, 
but it's one of those things where I've never really gotten the chance to like sit down and really listen to a Coldplay album back to back. So this was the first time I've actually done that and Ghost Stories being the first album. Um, and yeah, it's, you know, it's, I've got a lot of thoughts about it. Uh, and I suppose we'll, you know, dive into it track by track. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, it's, it is very impactful and it's very, there's something to it, right? The, the, yeah. like the melancholy and, and the, and the electronic music yeah. and, and the, the way it's put together and, and the voice, like the way he sings, Chris yeah. Martin, like there's the yeah. sadness to it almost. Um, yeah. I think it fits in very well with this style. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, I'm just saying, you know, it's a bit more housekeeping. The, the album sort of uh, won the Best Pop Vocal Award, 57th yeah. Grammy. Oh, I didn't know that. Um, and 2015 Billboard Music Awards uh, when it was nominated Top Rock, rock Album. So, Riz, if you didn't know that, then maybe I have it wrong here. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> me, I'm not much into awards. <laughs> what, what was my source? Wikipedia. I'm go change it. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. <laughs> but yeah, um, like... Like yeah. you were saying about melancholy, like I, I really like that point because Ghost Story is one of those albums which explores the idea of like, you know, past actions. Yeah. Like, you know, a person's past actions and the effects that they can have on your future or like, you know, uh, on your capacity of unconditional love, like, yeah. you know, uh, in that zone, uh, yeah. which I like, like every song. So um, Chris Martin made this album like it's supposed to be that way. I am not sure if the band intended to do it like that, mm -hmm. but it was made after Chris Martin's uh, breakup with his wife, Gwyneth yeah, Paltrow. Gwyneth yeah. yeah, that's right. And all of the songs talk about breakup at some point. Yeah. Like, you know, all of the songs in uh, Ghost Story, so which is, yeah. They're really yeah, to sum it up, very, to very sum it up it's like, a, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's just a familiar story that, <clears throat> has an unfamiliar note to it, right? Correct. Like every, like it's it's just, uh, it's a very celestial kind of feeling that I get from ghost stories. Like it's completely yeah. out yeah. in space. Yeah, uh, exactly, out of, out of space. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, like I believe in aliens and shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sort of yeah. Like and, and actually, you know, going, going back to Suraj's point, I think I have a quote here from Chris Martin and he actually says it, right? Like. Uh, the idea of ghost stories for me was how do you let the things that happened to you in the past, your ghosts, how do you let them affect your present and your future? And I think that is very much what I think Suraj was uh, uh, summarizing yeah. there, right? Yeah. Um, and it goes to the name, right? Ghost stories, why that name? Okay. Uh, very interesting, right? Um, yeah. So, yeah, and I think uh, just one more thing to mention, I think, you know, when I was researching this album, one of the things they mentioned was that this was one of the first albums where Chris got the band to contribute a lot more in like the songwriting process. So like mm -hmm. some of, so generally I think the way they did things is build songs off Chris Martin's ideas. Okay. Um, but right. this time, like for example, Magic was built off like the bass riff that guy had at the, you know, um, in the song. So, yeah. so they, they've, they've taken, I think there's a bit, a bit more band contribution happening yeah. on a musical level. That's but on right. a personal level, I think it's very much Chris and his breakup. Yeah. Would yeah. you agree? That is. Yeah. It's a very personal album. At the same time, it's one where I think the band has perhaps contributed more. Correct. Than they, they just, everybody just came up and got in their thing going on. Like, you know, their personal uh, things. So, yeah. 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 And the art on it as well. I think the, the, the what do you call it? Oh, yeah. The album art and stuff is just. Uh, well, aren't they gonna like? Didn't they showcase it at a museum or something at some point? I remember. I am not sure about it, but yeah. uh, not, but it's it's beautiful. Like you know the way it's yeah. made. I mean, uh, yeah. it, it it includes like a lot of small figurines. Like you know, if you would look at it closely, like yeah, it has a couple in it. It it, it yeah. has like yeah. I have it open uh, right here in front of me. Actually. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So it has this circular me sort of a thing. It's yeah. like a girl with a candlelight or like yeah. uh, like you know stuff like that uh, yeah so it's it's really interesting that way like mm. it's it's trying to talk about a lot of things and it has a lot of symbolic yeah. meanings which i don't know if i'll ever be able to figure out or anybody yeah. else but only like they know like what they were mm. you know really Very Very going true. for yeah. yeah perfect is so, there anything uh, else you guys to... want to add yeah Yes, there is a so one extra background that there is. Uh, hmm. The producer was the same as uh, Milo Zuloto. Uh, so not sure. 
so oh, yeah he was. so yeah and uh, so he returned after that album so if you if you notice there are like since i got to know this fact there have been similarities between um the the production of, not not the song sure. but the production of the song mm, the production. in milo zolotto and uh, ghost stories like there there are those it has sort of a similar stories. taste but again like milo zolotto is more like a i, I would say a party album <laughs> for me <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so yeah, yeah. i mean you got to buy lots of over here yeah <laughs> we got every day right. of uh, is a waterfall yeah. and like yeah 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 yeah, yeah. so if you look at the album from before we start the track list this is for mm. that uh, before, uh, so if you if you look at the album from a fresh perspective where you have no background and maybe you have or have not heard code play uh, there are some surprising songs i mean it starts off with this you know a, a new kind of sort of zone and just drives you through it and every Listen. song has a different uh, surprise element uh, yeah. I I mean sort of those uh, you see you see different figurines as you mentioned in uh, yeah. each song yeah. like a different each setup song. a different yeah yeah like a lot of songs uh, they they sound very like how do I put it in words like uh, they talk about loss or they like you know so, some of the songs have a positive approach towards life or like you know positive approach yeah. towards okay if something bad has happened to you it's fine like hope is still yeah. there but at awesome. the same time the videos are fucking the endings dark. as well are <laughs> like you know <laughs> right yeah <laughs> yeah there the videos are dark <laughs> some of it yeah, yeah. correct <laughs> so okay true. so yeah. i think i guess let's just dive into it right <laughs> the first track we have is always in my head yeah so this this is a song where i really love the intro it's it's one of those songs where i just love driving to it you know it's like very soothing and it's got that like ambient music you know i imagine yeah. like lake district or snowdonia or something um yeah. but i think as suraj you pointed out right it is like all the songs on the album it is very much a breakup song but yeah. at the same time i feel like if you just hear this song out of context of the other albums it could be interpreted just as like a love song as well like it it could be right because he he, he it could like, be yeah like this i guess is to tell you you're chosen out from the rest but it's the way the song is put together it's because of context you know it's a breakup song but i think yeah. just by the song itself it's not very evident as a breakup song right correct yeah yeah that's right i mean um, the whole song like you know if you read the lyrics i think of you i haven't slept i think i do but i don't forget uh it's um it's like you know it, it, they've really nicely put in like things of what they would be imagining like you know as a mirror image uh, like you know of or whatever like you know uh, like they've placed these scenarios of you know uh, okay what what if this had happened yeah. like you know i am facing this right now Mm-hmm. so always in sort my head is deciding moments right yeah. like yeah. deciding moments that you have in between uh, uh 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 like parting ways breakups or correct like exactly that. in love correct. so like e- even if you're not there you're always going to be in my head so it's mm-hmm. it's that sort of a feeling and obviously like you know the the way it starts up like you know with a soothing sound of like you know the, the electronic like a- It's like a choir at the beginning isn't it? Yeah Almost it's it's like it's like a choir, choir exactly. Ambient choir like you know something yeah. like that. You never know like if it's going to turn out to be something like you know electronic dance music but yeah. it doesn't yeah, turn out to be, be that. Sure. Yeah. yeah you can't be sure about that. Yeah. But and it does something else to you like it's it's a whole another sort of a trip. Yeah interestingly I think it's this song it has in in one of the back in sort of the background harmony it has a uh, Uh, has uh, Chris Martins and and Gwyneth's daughter singing in mm. the background i think her name is Apple mm. um Correct. so i think it just goes to again saying how personal i think this whole album is yeah. uh, to Chris Martin right okay yeah and i think that the ambient sound in the beginning right isn't it isn't it repeated towards the end as well of the yeah, album yeah it's it's repeated yeah. towards the yeah. end well i guess we'll get to it <laughs> yeah yeah we'll get yeah. to it the long way round <laughs> okay that's it I know, but it's yeah, like it's a great start circle. to the album. Yeah, it eases I mean, it, you into it. 
so always in my head sort of opens its doors to a music that you didn't expect mm -hmm. like exactly. with with the with the beginning mm -hmm. uh, uh, that eerie sound that the choir sound that you're saying like you begin with that and then you just and then there's a beat to the song which you didn't expect and yeah uh, you know the the rhythm sort of flows you through the song through the first track of correct this. it's more like you you have no idea what you're going in for yeah uh, so yeah exactly so i have a closing note for always in my head mm -hmm. that so since since it's been on repeat uh, it's been always in my head Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> you interrupted my whole this. segue for that. <laughs> okay, so so right. Um, mm -hmm. So from always in my head, we get to the yeah. second track, magic. Yeah. Now this track, I think when it came out, this was playing everywhere. Um, I, I think I, I, was this the first single off the album? Do you know, Suraj? Uh, not sure. I think yeah. this was the one. I think this was the one. Because I feel like oh, this song was everywhere when it came out. Suddenly. Yeah, it was everywhere. Yeah, it was everywhere. I think it came out with a music video, like the music came video out with the music and video. the music. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, like the late eighteen hundreds, a magic show and black and white video. Yeah, yeah. So, and it's got this very like catchy riff. You know, it starts off, yeah. it just hooks you. Um, and, this is probably their most mainstream song on the album, I'd say, if that makes sense. Uh, yeah, no, right? one of them. Yeah. But it's, it's all like, you know, again, uh, coming back to it, it's again, like the way I look at it, it's sort of a breakup song. Like, you know, oh, it is. Magic, it is, yeah. magic, again, it's it's about two people meeting and falling apart every time they're together, magic happens. But then when you're not together, like uh, th there's no magic left. So like, um, yeah. so it's, it's, it falls on those lines. Mm -hmm. and, no, I 100% agree. And I think, you know, even with that magic analogy, right, the lyrics are yeah. so well written. It's like, you know, when you have stage magic and you cut the person in two and it's, it's very much like cut me into yeah. two. It's sort so of an illusion. Yeah, it's you know? using yeah. that like analogy and really running yeah. with it. Um, yeah. Of like stage magic, illusion. Uh, exactly. And, and all of that, right. But it does yeah. it does sort of end, end on, it's one of those things again, right, because the song kind of takes you through this journey. Of, of like this more emotional journey of, of, of breakup, right, in a sense. But it does okay. end again on, on sort of like a positive note, right? Because it's like- Yeah, like, do you still believe in magic? Me, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, yes, I do. So it's yes, almost like that. saying either, you know, I believe that we might get back together or that I might fall back in love again. But it doesn't yeah. matter. The, the point yeah, is that's there's right. some sort of hope. There's, there's some light at the end of the There's tunnel. magic in everything, like, you know? Yeah. So you just need to find the right door to get into and yeah. Uh, everything will fall in place like you know even if you're yeah. devastated even if you're broken up by a, yeah. a relationship even if like no matter how bad everything is turning up for you like there is still hope and there Absolutely. is magic left in this world so yeah. you can't deny that yeah, yeah. sorry can so, i just say can i just say suraj okay. has the nicest background out of all of us <laughs> what happened to our production value, Rezi? <laughs> Look at his lighting as well. He's like he's sitting in a studio or something. <laughs> Thanks. Sorry. Pa Sorry, pa Paul did that for me, by the way. Paul, it's a ball. Yeah. <laughs> I knew, I knew. Nice. Special mention, Paul. <laughs> yeah. Shout out. But uh, since <laughs> since um, I heard magic, there's so in the in the very last uh, verse he changes the yes i do to of course i do yeah. and uh, that so this is one of the songs there is another song that i'll mention uh, but this is one of the songs where i don't know i just felt uh, chris martin sort of went with the flow and just he just goes into the zone yeah right right he did <laughs> yeah. That. I, yeah, yeah. that's very much because Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Of course, I do. It's like improvising yeah. almost. That, yeah. Yeah, that, yeah. that change is very apt. I, I feel like Chris Martin, of course, like a lot of uh, great singers do that, but like he has a great thing for improvisation. Like even if you watch their live shows, yes. like there are times when he is just tripping on his own and like, you know, he's just doing <laughs> things that he wants to do. And like, yeah. you know, yeah. it's, it's and whatever version it may be, it'll be as beautiful as it was like, you know, in the original. So I, I don't know how he managed to do that. 
but yeah it's it's quite beautiful it's the way. magic and he, always, like with, with lyrics also magic. like <laughs> yeah with lyrics also like you know if if you would listen to uh, their live concerts and stuff like that like he changes lines in between mm-hmm. and you would be like okay but this makes sense <laughs> Yeah, yeah. It's, there's uh, an improvisational aspect. Yeah, yeah. Music yeah. making, right? He just right. gets like Perfect. all lost. Yeah. Sufi, Sufi. Banjati. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he did have <laughs> right. a, you know, mentioning Sufi, I think he did mention um, that he met a Sufi teacher who introduced him to the idea of just like sitting with your experiences and the things you've been through and like okay. alchemizing it. And I think oh. he mentioned that as being one of the influences behind the album Ghost Stories. Okay. Oh, nice. Um, I didn't yeah, know about it. Yeah, this is an interesting it. point, I thought. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but he, said, he said, I didn't know what it meant, but I trusted <laughs> that it would work. And the more that I was <laughs> learning about that, the more music just started flowing through. Yeah. So. Like it, uh, so years ago, I was re- uh, like watching a video of Chris Martin where he was uh, like, Razi would be uh, like familiar with this thing, which, I, which I'm just going to talk about. Uh, he shared the idea of purge writing. So this is how like yeah, yeah, he yeah, writes yeah, lyrics. Purge writing is something yeah. like you know you you write uh, you write things for like ten minutes just to clear yeah. up your head and then you burn it. Yeah. So it's 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 like a process which he used to follow for writing his songs. Which again like yeah. you know when you when you're talking about this Sufi thing going yeah. on like it it just reminds reminds me of that. Yeah. yeah. Like, you know that sort of influence. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Like burn the past. Yeah. Very much, very much. But it, it yeah, clears you. Yeah. Oh, Razi, any anything else to add, Razi, on to magic? Um, uh, just, uh, just. That. I'm gonna do that with every track, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, it's magical, <laughs> I guess. Okay. <laughs> That's how to end it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> um, yeah. So, so from magic, then we move to the third track, Ink. Mm, um, yes. Another very, very catchy breakup song. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, Again. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but, you know, very sort of that ambient sort of lounge feel to okay. it. Okay. Yeah. And uh, this song, especially like, you know, th- this this is their one song where I think he's just explaining, like, you know, Chris Martin is just explaining yeah. uh, the kind of love that he yeah. would want to like you know do like or yeah. as in the kind of person that he becomes while yeah. he's in love like you know when he uh, like i think the lyrics goes like got a tattoo that said together to life carved in your name with my pocket knife so like this yeah. this sounds yeah. in a way like you know i got a tattoo like as cliche as it sounds but, it, it yeah. is something yeah it yeah. is something personal like you know yeah. which he's trying to say and like it, it's something that he would want to do yeah, so yeah, yeah. It's his idea of love. Um, yeah. And that's what I feel. Like Ink is that's a, one of those songs. That's a very that's a very indie idea, if you say so whenever the line comes up, uh, carving our names uh, in the tree with a pocket knife. Yeah. Like I always picture like this uh, indie vibe uh, sort of visual that th- th- yeah. there's this girl, there's this boy, yeah. and the boy takes out his pocket knife and <laughs> and okay. uh, yeah. it just I mean, it's it's that feeling that that you get out of it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And he's he's talking about like you know uh, if this is my idea of love and yeah. this is how I like you know just swim into the river of dreams. Yeah. That, um, like, the idea of love is that you know his idea of love, which I get from this song, is that he he's he's a believer of dreams. Like you know, in, in the sense that. He lives in that fantasy land, like you know. Okay, the idea of love would be larger than life. Yeah, and... but he's definitely a romantic, so to speak. He's, he's right. definitely romantic. Yeah, yeah, hundred yeah, percent. Yeah. yeah, that's for sure. That's for sure. So yeah. Yeah, it's 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 not you know love is not just an emotion, right? It, it's for him. Yeah. It is again going back to the previous track. It's magic. It's there's it's something magic. bigger happening than, than the two of them essentially. Correct. Correct. Um, yeah, and I mean that is you know it's very true. You gotta imagine, right? I mean they had a they have a daughter together, um, exactly. right? So Absolutely. it's it's created out of love. So it's 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 very much that grander than life, sort of greater than the sum of its parts. Okay. Right. So this is the second song where, uh, in the end, again Chris Martin sort of just sort of flows into the music because uh, I think he ends on a harmony and the last 
the last segment of his how, how many he chuckles so much it is carefully yeah, yeah. so <laughs> then so I... and then and then yeah. the last harmony he chuckles like you hear the chuckle out and uh, i guess he sort of went on and did an extra yeah. uh, harmony and just realized oh wait <laughs> and then <laughs> <it> stop <laughs> too high yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, interesting. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't notice that specifically, but now that you mentioned it, I'll go back to it. Uh, good. Um. So yeah, I get from Ink. We get to the fourth track, True Love. Yeah. Now this, I think this to me is is again one of the most standout tracks. For some reason, it's just it's the music. You know, the firstly the melody is not very. You know, it doesn't follow a very traditional pattern. It's a bit unpredictable. like the way the melody of the song goes um and i guess the lyrics as well it's it's one of the things where it's because you know if i i i try to pay attention to lyrics generally especially when when i'm going to do like a shuffling notes mm. episode yeah um and it's just very interesting because there's like this sort of weird like you could call like a di- dichotomy or like a duality going on right because he's he says like there's like i, I wish I, i i wish you could have let me know what's really going on below I've lost you now you let me go but one last time but there's this thing where you know and, and I guess we will all might have experienced that at some point where perhaps in a relationship it doesn't have to be romantic like any relationship the other person other person's feelings start to change or they're not honest getting, about that getting. change um and suddenly you know you feel like almost like a betrayal because you feel like they didn't tell you the truth but then yeah. he goes on and says so tell me you love me if you don't then lie oh lie, lie. so yeah. pretty much oh, there's like this, this irony going on where it's like that is what happened to him but he's also so if you if you think of it if you think of it like now that you that now that you've told me about it um uh, true love is like a follow up song to ink like you know if you think of it like it's yeah. a follow up song to ink in a very uh, weird way that ink is a song where he's trying to define his idea of love and true love yeah. is where his love sh- like you know dream shatters yeah and- i mean like it's a true love by the time you hear true love you're like man this guy's heart is broken yeah. like it's not yeah. this, this guy's like, heart is broken exactly up. this guy is he's picking <laughs> trying to pick up the pieces you know it's, it's- like you know there's uh, like the girl has probably stopped expressing or like you know there's something yeah. Yeah. going wrong in the relationship mm-hmm. like you know it's it's Um, and there's you have these conflicting them. feelings where you want honesty but at the same time you're scared of the honesty exactly. so you want them to keep lying to you and it's it's, it's exactly like it captures at, at one point of so time well. yeah at one point of time everything seemed so perfect but yeah w- w- what has become yeah. of this song yeah so love is and it, and if you look at the video yeah. you you wouldn't feel like you know the lyrics are actually so hard like it, it's like a lot of people find the video very cute yeah, yeah. i don't know why but <laughs> I, i'm going to be honest with you i haven't actually seen any of the videos i've seen magic oh, because that was everywhere okay. oh you um, should but i haven't actually seen any of them uh, the thing is i may have seen them like if i watch them now I'm like oh yeah i i saw that when that came out but right. i don't have memory of them i'm not sure this uh, you've you've been, you been very quiet <laughs> yeah um i just have one thing to add about this like again the end uh, firstly the tell me you love me if you don't then lie is mm-hmm. is something that you know it, it, he's talking about something pure something like love and then he's asking that lover to you know i don't care i mean i don't care just i don't care if you love me yeah. you don't love me just lie about it there's a helplessness and, yeah exactly yeah, yeah helpless and, uh, exactly that's a word desperation and the, yeah <laughs> and i'm just open to the cinema ending. now and just yeah <laughs> sorry C- carry on rosy <laughs> the ending goes like uh so so the ending over here is uh you 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 kind of find yourself in the jungle if uh you remember the ending it's it's like birds calling out to each other there are two birds talking and then there is an owl that comes in between and then there's another bird like if you see it visually is this like know, a fever I, I dream mean, you had while listening to the song <laughs> it's very <wow>. specific <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's specific, <laughs> right? He's like, he's like really going. No, no, but carry on. Sorry, Arvi. So, so, so those. I mean, uh, I guess when you listen to that part, it's it's right at the end, and it ends with that sort of birds talking to each other, and maybe maybe lover birds or uh, or 
something i don't know but yeah. it's completely that um it's the worse. deep forest kind yeah. of feeling you know the yeah. deep forest that you get those um uh sound the hooting sounds of the owl it's and that ambience things. almost isn't it it like creates ambience. an environment exactly. yeah yeah, exactly. yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, uh, actually like even um, their uh, guitar like Guy Berryman and uh, Johnny has done some exceptional work in this song I must say like you know towards the end of it like they, they've made a there was a there was a solo I don't know if you remember mm-hmm. there's yeah, a solo yeah. which is which is really beautiful mm-hmm. which comes towards the end that's the thing musically this song is just for me because like the first the first three songs uh like yeah. i enjoy them and they really set the stage but for me this song starts to bring it home really because like yeah there's so many interesting things happening at once and it's it's i mean it, it's almost like how many ways can you sing about a breakup apparently a lot yeah exactly. and still keep it interesting right <laughs> ask adele the same question no <laughs> ask taylor swift the same question no so so <laughs> So, but it's it's true though, right? Because because a lot of the great greatest art is is created is very personal, right? Because that's exactly. really dig deep into the emotions, and there's so many different ways to to sort of relay those emotions. And within you, there's so many conflicting emotions, right? So it's just about getting it out in the right way. And I think this song, True Thank Love, you. really really captures that, both musically, lyrically, the way it's put together. To me, it's it's one of the most standout songs. Thank you. One of my favorite was ones. my favorite. True love was my favorite of this album. Was your favorite? I I still can't pick a, a, a one like any one song, man. Like yeah. it's really hard for me. Yeah, like they're all your favorite. One kids. song from yeah. them. Yeah, I mean, I, it's it's, it's really favorites. difficult. Yeah, they're all my favorites. No, I know, I know how you feel. I know how you feel. <laughs> um, yeah, hundred percent. My new favorite is the next song. Ah, oh, okay. Well, I was gonna say from True Love. Yeah, the OG we, Trippin song. Yeah. So from True Love, <laughs> we get to Midnight. Yeah. Um, This song again, and I think whether you listen to this or stole my words there a little bit. Going on from True Love, Midnight again. It's it's one of the like very standout songs to me. Um, yeah. Just a bit of background, you know. This song was co- co-produced by John Hopkins. Uh, I think it was like from a previously unreleased a John Hopkins song. They sort of adapted that um, okay. into more of sort of their put their spin on it. But mm-hmm. it's. It you know I think Rezi you, you might you might relate to it you might not but it's you know that Lifehouse song Storm. It, this song Midnight almost sort of reminds me of Storm in in the sense of like it's just suddenly it just stops and it's slow and it, but it but it has that ambience to it it has that yeah. music in the background and it's just it's like it's almost like talking. Right. Yeah. And yeah. I, it's, it's, and to me it just yeah, it time. really reminded me not musically but just the way the song is put together it evoked i would say that similar feeling i i get when i would listen to that life house song storm in the sense of like going through a really think, dark time but not I giving up exactly. word not giving up hope the word that you're looking that's, for that's, yeah the yeah. word that you're looking for is transcendental yeah transcendental yeah yeah, yeah yeah can't say that but it's like <laughs> yeah. it's it's that leave a light on like you know like when he says that it's it's oh that that's it's just, beautifully done like yeah, that yeah. part and, and, yeah and it's it's very much it feels like that sort of like he's going through this very, and you got the voice modulation the vocoder or whatever it is um and it, it, it's 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 like you know things get worse before they get better <laughs> like exactly you know, whatever you know analogy when i use but it's just it evokes that feeling of like you're going through a very very dark period very dark phase exactly midnight yeah. but you know dawn it, it, it he says dawn. right in the darkness before the yeah. dawn it, it's Correct. there is that hope that light is at the end of the tunnel yeah there's, there's probably a follow up song yeah. again it all makes sense now yeah. <laughs> after true love <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is the one. Yeah. yeah 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 it's like going through the phases right as like, going through the phases exactly it, yeah yeah <laughs> but yeah it's, it's it's beautiful like um what you were talking about not losing hope like that's that's pretty much like what the album is trying to say like yeah. you know it's like about your past actions and uh, yeah. it's it it really is going to matter in your future like you know what you make of it now and like in your future so it's uh, yeah the starting of midnight is a little bit like with or without you from youtube mm. you i don't know man <laughs> yeah yeah no i mean no, if, I it, if it, i'll have to hear really? it back to back but i i 
I there I is don't a, think there so. is a similarity. There is a similarity, and maybe uh, maybe. And because no, that was a song I heard a lot back in the day. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but um, for the lyrics, it's uh, it it was very interesting for me to you know have have to see or hear two verses which they say. I think. I mean, he's not really singing. Where he says, "Leave a light, a light on." So it's like it's it's one sentence or one verse, but they break it down into standalone uh, verses, which which make it very interesting because there there is leave a light and there's hope in there, a light on, and yeah. there's hope there. Like mm-hmm. you know, there there's that kind of I I mean, there's a weird connection that I yeah. sort of yeah. felt for this. And also, I felt uh, with the digital organs, there was a little bit of poo that I. I see. Yeah, yeah, that, that, yeah, that yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> in in this midnight specifically, yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah. And you know, like towards the end of the song, like how, like it starts up really slow, and then like towards the end of it, like it it kind of like the amalgamation of so many things yeah. like you know it's yeah, like your sure. head is going to fucking burst now yeah. and yeah. <laughs> like you know and then it's a very it's emotional journey very emotional journey like yeah. it's it's almost like going through a catharsis sort of yeah. a thing yeah 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 100% yeah. 100% agree with that yeah um yeah and i guess from that sort of you know i think midnight really it almost feels like uh i don't like a, like a middle point of of yeah. you know like if if this was like a old hollywood movie this is where you'd have the intermission <laughs> almost right it's it's like it's it's oh, oh zack snyder's justice league right um it, but this is like where, where you'd have the intermission right it's it, it's yeah. to me it kind of feels like it, it really like it kind of brings the album to a stop in a good way and yeah. then we move on to anaza's arms and I think to your point Sura I kind of see it now because yeah you see that journey now another's arms it, it's almost like that next phase of that exactly, breakup exactly 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 and, and and musically as well right it sort of follows <laughs> on uh it's I mean one thing is though it is it, I was looking at the lyrics and I I think it's like obviously when you hear it first it, it sort of sounds like you know like his ex has found someone else and 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 it's kind of like having that going through that pain but also i think in the song i might have missed it but in the lyrics it's not specified it can even be him yeah exactly it song. can right. be him it's it like can you try him. to move on like you see the other and it could be both of them right you see the other person moving on so you try yeah. to move on yeah. as well but it just doesn't work and that like you know the the yeah, right? another another song yeah sure sure just, like it's, 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 it's about it's about like when you go through a breakup um, you could take like you know anything from your partner and no. uh it could mean like hundreds of things like you know okay you probably broken up for the best but like when you find someone or like okay uh, it changes everything if the other person has gotten a partner and like you are alone that just yeah. fucks with your head yeah. but even if but even if you've uh, yeah. like you know uh, even if you've been able to crack through it like you know okay like you know okay i'll yeah. Uh, like date someone or whatever like i'll yeah. just get into a religion just for the fuck of it like i feel the initial phase of it is very important like or i yeah. feel it, it, it's very um it's kind of very tricky like you know um, yeah. it could just go all wrong because you're kind of used to all of yeah. that shit and then it, it, it kind of changes like you have no idea like what you've become Yeah. Or like you know, uh, where would you want to go? Yeah. Or what route would? What do you really want? So like it's it's kind of like lots of emotions that it's it's kind of like you know living in nostalgia, like which you start. Yeah. Yeah. Which you're stuck in the like, past. You're stuck in the past. You're stuck exactly. You're stuck in the past. Like yeah. I think uh, the lyrics start with late night watching TV used to be you here beside me. Like yeah, that yeah. that says it all. Like you know yeah. you were here yeah. right now, but I mean. there's probably a new person here right now yeah. but i just don't feel the same it's it, it probably means that no 100% you're stuck in the past yeah. you're going to make your yeah. own future barry yeah exactly um i have to ask you were you going through a breakup when you had this album oh, sorry 
were you going through a breakup when you first I was actually not I was not okay. and um, yeah. so to be very honest this album uh, the journey for this album is a little weird so this friend of mine other yeah. him and me like you know we were we were actually uh, struggling in mumbai at that time we like yeah. other was working as a graphic designer and i had no work i had yeah. no work so i would just go to his place and like you know we, he's the one actually who made me listen to coldplay and ah, he see. he was the one who made me listen to ghost stories and uh, i was remember was he going we, through a breakup as well no <laughs> no, I don't think so. Both he just, our, he just was really into the music. Both of us were yeah, not. Yeah. Both of us were not. Yeah. But there was something in the music that we would just like, you know, okay, ye cut kar dena. But we we would get high and like, yeah. you know, listen to these songs, listen to Coldplay all the time. And there was this certain yeah thing of like, you know, uh, just getting transported to some other world, which yeah. I had never felt before. Like, you yeah. know, with an album. Like yeah. I was new yeah. to uh, like such mm-hmm. like you know rock music. I had not even listened to that yeah. much of Pink Floyd before that. Yeah. And this was something really fresh for me. Yeah. So when and I guess it's like ca- that. Really, and I guess it's not just a breakup, right? Like just there that that message, the way that the songs are put together with that light at the end of the tunnel and that that Correct. fact of going to a dark time. Those feelings yeah. are a bit more universal, like that helplessness. It's it's, it's very that universal. Feeling, that so frustration, that nostalgia of exactly the good times in the past. Exactly. You know? So yeah. we were trying to work on a concept, like you know, uh, to write it down or something yeah. like that. For us, these songs, what they really meant were like you know, your love for something could be. like you know it, it could be anything like yeah. it doesn't need to be like you know s- certain gender or like yeah. anything else like it could be your passion for example mm-hmm. like you know if filmmaking was my passion or like if music is uh, somebody else's yeah. passion these songs would mean uh, like you know exactly the same for them like this yeah. would mean like a lot for them too like mm-hmm. you know if they they take it in that way like you know uh, so we always saw it in that way we i- initially like the more and more i listen to it like it yeah. it became like a thing that you know okay these are breakup songs but not necessarily like you know with a person it could mean anything for some people it would be materialistic for example like i'm not sure yeah. if i'm if i should say this but for some people it should be materialistic or for some yeah. people it could mean anything like you yeah. know for example their parents uh, or like their uh, siblings or uh, mm-hmm. anything like you know uh, their passion like people mm-hmm. who are not able to follow up their dreams and they got into doing something else but uh, like you know stuff like that so mm-hmm. we like we really took it in um, that sort of a way yeah. and for us breakup in at that point meant this like yeah. not mm-hmm. not really like you know ki ha like you were in a relationship with a girl or something yeah like yeah yeah Yeah, there's like a deeper connection to it, right? Yeah, it, it, there was a deeper connection to it in, in that sort of way. Nice. Also, like we were trying to, uh, like you know, f- really find. Like I was going through that phase where I didn't know if I if I had taken a like you know positive route towards my life. Like yeah, I, I wasn't sure. There's uncertainty around it. Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't sure if yeah. if I was going to make it over here, if yeah. I was going to survive in a city like Bombay. it yeah. was very uh, like you know uh, mm. now that i think of it ki ha theek hai sab ho gaya but like at that point you had no idea yeah. like yeah. you know uh, yeah. Yeah, job nahi tha or like anything like that so yeah in in that sense like pole play uh, played a really important part in that yeah. sense like you know at that point like ghost story like, was this one album which really pushed us into writing like you know you fuck you need to yes start working hard like you know and you need to follow your passion you need mm-hmm. to give it all so it kind of motivated us so th- that's probably one of the reasons why it is so personal to us yeah me so yeah no no makes makes sense makes complete sense i mean no, like, makes sense, some yeah. of the best like yeah. albums or, or music memories you could say are those that are connected to like <clears throat> raw emotion that resonate exactly. with you at a very raw level how about how about you rosie were you going through a breakup Um, are you going through a breakup <laughs> right now? <laughs> He's like, which one? How many did I go through? Which one? Are you listening? Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm. Um, <laughs> well, that's I'm always feeling in others' arms. If that's 
what you want. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> but um, so, t- t- talking about the song, it's uh, so it starts with a you know a visual premise. Uh, mm. This is, I think, one of the one of the first songs uh, which starts with a visual premise in the sense of uh, lyrics, uh, where he goes body on my body, and then you get into the beat. And, Correct. Um, there's there's another thing about the song that it doesn't let you unhook yourself from it. Yeah. With the with the rhythms, uh, with the uh, harmonizing. Yeah. Um, sort of fall backup falsettos, I think. But it's Chris Martin. But it's those, um, you know, those falsettos that are in the background. But they sort of carry on the song, and you you can't unhear it while you're in into the song. Like there's no point where there are songs where they have false endings, but this mm-hmm. song has no false ending. This song has no uh, up or down. It's just a, like a constant flow through the song. And um, I was I was actually confused if it's the lover's arms you lose all world, or the replacement of a lover, the rebound or something like that. That's what we were talking about. Like I think it could mean like either of people and like it could mean a lot uh, yeah. i mean another i mean it's sort of open uh, to interpretation almost right yeah. it's it's kind of applicable in in, in the both the cases almost mm-hmm. i don't know if you noticed there is a looping guitar uh, at at a three around three minutes and it mm-hmm. it's an unnoticed it's an unnoticed <laughs> element and it it just follows uh, like two two notes like uh, yeah. a high note and a lower note and mm-hmm. it follows through and that adds an x factor yeah. or for me it added an x x factor so, to the song yeah i think i think this this technique as well like the the reason why a lot of these songs they the in this album they create this sort of ambient so you could say like this this environmental feeling right is is mm. what what you see there with that guitar looping you usually see it in like movie soundtracks and stuff so yeah. they'll use these type of techniques where they'll have like they'll have a guitar just playing two notes over and over in the background while you have other stuff happening and and the thing is the way that they they utilize the channels the left and right channels it creates this yeah. whole like sphere you True. know this whole sort of grand orchestra in a way uh, and, and i think they do it really well here with that combination of the electronic sounds and with the guitars so it really does create um, that sort of ambient sounding you know as you were saying like getting transported to another world um you know mm-hmm. feeling you know transcend yeah transcended transcended most right uh, so it's it, it really captures that and i think you you really hit the nail on the head there with that type of like musical technique that they utilize mm-hmm. and then it goes a long way but once you notice it you notice it True. Yeah, uh, now I can't unhear it. Like yeah, when I'm listening yeah, to the yeah. song and it's ending. <laughs> yeah, like, how the hell did I not point... hear that before? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's like I mean, it it's been there and it's yeah. it's really good. I mean, it adds so much yeah. uh, to the music part of it. But um, I mean, well, I noticed it now. So yeah. that counts. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, from another's arms, we get to the seventh song, Oceans. Yeah. So I think this song is a bit more sort of acoustic based. It has some okay. you know electronic drums and like synth okay. sounds, but it okay. it is you know it is a lot more sort of acoustic. Yeah, it's um, mostly Chris Martin. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> sad guy, man. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and how does this mean, Suresh? <laughs> that was uh, just mean. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's it's fine. Like w- when I look at him, he's he's like the happiest person to me. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. like you know, he always has a smile on his face, which yeah. which is He's great. I feel a lot yeah. of rock rock band members don't. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's and it really comes out in, well, in his music, you. right? Like what we were saying, no matter how how dark some of the songs get, there is that like hope in them, in a sense. Exactly. Um, I mean, I guess this this song, I think it's kind of just more. I guess the message, I feel like it's again one of those messages of desperation again going through the phases of a breakup i suppose where it's like you know i'm okay i'm going to change you know come back i'm going to change I'm, yeah i'm ready to change right um where initially where you might not have even agreed that it was your mistake or you did anything wrong you get to this point in almost like bargaining 
where you're like, okay, mess, fuck it, you know, I'll, I'll just, I'll, I'll change anyway. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, and, and you well, feel like, I'll, that I'll, again. Yeah, I'll accept the fact that, okay, this has happened, yeah. but like my life needs to move on. And yeah, yeah that, that's, that's pretty much what I feel uh, about this song. Like, got to find yourself alone in this world to find yourself alone. Like, that's pr- pretty dark. Yeah. That's pretty yeah. sad. <laughs> you are alone, but at the same time, you need to yeah. accept, like, yeah. you know, okay, this, this was probably your fuck up or, or in, anyone's, uh, whoever yeah, that yeah. may be. But uh, it probably just works like that. Mm. And uh, there's nothing you can do or, like, undo, you know, it's, you, you can't probably go to reverse and, you know, uh, there's no such button as reverse and, like, straightening things up uh, that like yeah. it's, it's not a movie yeah. like life is not a, uh, not really a movie mm. so once no such something yet. yeah i mean uh, doctor who <laughs> yeah. but it, it, it also like hmm. uh, so this song is it also like you know somebody who is in need of love like you know he's he's yeah. probably ready for all like you know he's just waiting for it and mm-hmm. uh, but he feels that is never going to happen. It's it's mm-hmm. <laughs> it's some somewhat like in that sort of a zone. Mm-hmm. So so this song, uh, I mean, it's it's oceans and uh, it starts off with that submarine sound. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and mm-hmm. and I mean, I just sort of get drawn back to echoes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so the beginning of the song is like very much like echoes yeah. and the ending of uh, the song it reminds of High Hopes that's also by Floyd oh. if you I mean it's, it's, it's uh, roughly, of course yeah yeah and I think I was going to say the ending right with that with the sound it's, it's very much like a like a with the bells scape, clocks yeah almost yeah. right like the yeah, almost yeah. like the soundscape is like sound uh, uh, uh mm-hmm. towards the ending of this track uh yeah it's amazing and uh you know by the end of the song it like soothes you down with its yeah. fade out and and then you're in the mm-hmm. y- y- and then you're in a sky full of stars yeah if you if you look at it it's like uh, ocean is, is a launch yeah. yeah ocean is a launch yeah, yeah, yeah. and exactly. and then sky full of stars is like you <laughs> bursting through the sound exactly. barrier with the, Correct. yeah Correct. and then you know going <laughs> going through the stars and just going being there yeah. well there we have it a sky full of stars yeah <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah so this song was co-wrote and and co-produced uh, with avici avici right. that's right mm-hmm. um, this was again like one of the yep this was again one of the most, uh, like you know, you would call the party songs or the club songs. This is yeah, more like a dance uh, yeah, after, track, isn't uh, it? Yeah, yeah. The yeah. dance track, yeah. Yeah, I got like some house influences here and there. Again, um, it is a dark song, but yeah. Well, I think what's interesting as well is like it starts off with just the piano, right? Okay. Uh, and then it builds up from there, so it doesn't feel out of place as if it okay. was like a dance song that just started off as a dance song. Yeah. Very um, true. But yeah, I think you know. Uh, it's. I feel like it has similarities almost to Midnight in the sense of like that, the, the, the heaviness of the synth, but it obviously it's it's very different in terms of it's very danceable. Mm. Um, but it's. I think again, like now, now you put that in my head, Suraj, about the that sort of that journey of like going through the breakup and progressing from like one stage to another, and this is very much that, right? It's like it's you get to this point where it's like you, you at least the parts of the lyrics that I paid attention to really made me feel like it's like, it doesn't matter what happened. It doesn't matter what you do. You know, if, okay. if I love you, I'm going to love you. You know, like it's, but it's like, there's almost like an acceptance, right? Cause like, you know, I don't care. Go on and tear me apart. I don't care if you do. Yeah, exactly. That's, yeah, that's, that's sky my favorite stars, I think I see you. <laughs> and also yeah. that reminds me of some of the artwork, you know, that sky full of stars with like, exactly. pictures being okay. drawn. Yeah. Okay. Um, but it's again one of the standout songs to me. This, this yeah, hundred yeah. percent. But it really it's... brings that acceptance part of the breakup a little bit. Where it's acceptance like, part of the breakup, correct? Not complete acceptance, but in the sense of like, you know what, you can move on or you can do whatever you want. But I'm gonna be yeah. me, but I'm okay with it in a, in a sense. 
I feel I feel a, a, a lot of it also means like for me what I take from it is yeah that you stop having grudges after a point like you know in a breakup yeah like exactly you you yeah. stop thinking about all of those petty things which you, which would really bother you yeah. and uh, this song really opens up everything for you that you know yeah. okay everything is done you are on your way to like you know a new hopeful land Mm-hmm. and uh, you don't need to get bothered by like you know those past occurrences which has happened or like whatever they must have done to you but like every yeah. past occurrence will make you a new and a better person every yeah. day if you if mm-hmm. you think of it so you learn as long as you learn from it as long as you learn from it yeah yeah, yeah 100% yeah. Yeah. that that's important and now from a sky full of stars we finally get to the last track or should i say tracks of the album oh <laughs> Um, yeah. but i think isn't it the, i think the first 4 minutes are technically titled fly on and i think the last minute is titled o oh, right sir okay okay that's right that's right that's right, right. yeah um, but i think they just if on the streaming service i think they either just say o oh, or it's o oh, in brackets fly on um yeah. well on mine it says o oh, and in brackets hidden track okay it just says o oh, in yeah. mine <laughs> yeah so i think i think Bills. the hidden track is actually o oh. but i oh. think the the first 4 minutes of the song is actually it's, fly it's on fly on correct yeah and always actually this is, yeah go ahead always always like an ender to like everything so outro fly on it's yeah cool. yeah um, it's but awesome. i it's it, it's i'll get to the o in a second actually i have some thoughts yeah <laughs> but i think i think fly on might be my favorite track of the yeah, album yeah. <laughs> uh, because it's it's just i can just listen to it and it's just it's soothing but it feels like a rebirth it feels yeah. like a new beginning it feel you know and exactly. there's, there's a lot going on in there you know as he talks about like the birds and and like the analogy yeah. to to love or yeah. however you want to you know sometimes they arrive sometimes they're gone like love is fleeting but but it's and i guess you would you know compare it to like butterflies in your heart like flocks of bird in a sense but it's it's the way it captures all of those feelings and it really just feels like there's an aspect of it of about moving on but it's it's almost like again going back like transcending right yeah um, exactly this this song really hits it for me you know yeah. the, that's yeah yeah. yeah 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 it does that like it, it's it's kind of like you know uh, that sort of feeling like after everything like you know uh, after a breakup or post breakup like you know you've yeah. gone through it's it's sort of like you know accepting that you have made peace with it mm-hmm. and you were really nice to me or like you know whatever has happened to this whole process it was great for me it has made me a new person and uh, you're amazing but i need to change my life yeah. maybe one day i'll be as amazing as you like you know i mean i've got uh, the lines right here so fly on right through maybe yeah. one day i'll fly next to you and yeah. it, it, it's it's exactly that right but i just yeah, yeah this song just captures this I, you can't really put your finger on that feeling that you know it, it yeah. evokes yeah right it, it, it's it's also one of those songs which is uh, uh, put me into sleep like really nicely a lot of times yeah, yeah. like i i would i very would really hear, yeah very calming yeah. very soothing and like uh, again like sort of a catharsis uh, you know that sort of a feeling is there and yeah so guys i just want to ask both of you uh what part what what stage is this of the breakup since you guys uh, have been quite i think yeah no i think this is that right this is that final stage of moving on of like moving making on. your peace yeah. right because like yeah. you know a sky full of stars was acceptance i think at some yeah. level yeah, yeah. while oh kind of is just a oh, fly on i guess it's kind of just yeah. you've accepted it and now you're you're sort of almost beginning this next stage of your life yeah. you're, you're moving yeah. on you're flying you know it's it's that rebirth that yeah. uh, new beginning and you've made peace with all of your problems like you know yeah. you enlightened was, yeah you're enlightened whatever Basically. was bothering you yeah. like it's 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 all yeah. done it's all in yeah. the dustbin now and you can just move on and yeah. die on. but yeah again at the same time what i really like about these lyrics are that uh, it doesn't give you a like you know fuck you sort of a feeling like No, at no. the end of a breakup like you know when you listen to most of the metal songs they they're, they're yeah. always trying yeah. to like you know 
tell you that okay um, yeah. this was really hard to me or yeah. like you know the, the the best thing about this whole album or like yeah. this song uh, the way it sums up is that it kind of uh, le- lets you be in peace yeah. that you know whatever has happened it's probably yeah. happened for the good mm-hmm. and like again those things like hope mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. it's like you know every day you learn something new like even if mm-hmm. like for example there the are a lot of days when you mm-hmm. have like you know bad day at work or like probably like a, ch- a kid in a school like you know if mm-hmm. he's um done something which which has gotten him into yeah. some sort of a trouble but like at the end of the day it's it's kind of like you know uh, getting him into that zone where he will learn yeah. and he will get through it okay uh, this is something which i'm not supposed to repeat yeah i will and i have a part of you in myself yeah. i have a part of you in my heart i am going to be this person i am a better person now agar abhi relationship mein hote it would have been probably better but now it's it's all gone it's yeah. done so uh, yeah it's it's that sort of feeling which really makes it special yeah yeah so you've been very quiet yeah. well uh, i mean it's the, the whole the whole album uh, i would say yeah. uh, i just never looked at it from a love perspective yeah hmm. i mean uh, as it's clearly as it clearly is hmm. as i mentioned it's a familiar story hmm. in uh, in an unfamiliar kind of note hmm. um and all the songs have this um they, they all as as suraj mentions they all have this positive vibe not like hmm. the metal songs where yeah. someone's yeah. dissing someone or someone's dissing themselves yeah. but yeah. it's it's just this new perspective on life on love on mm-hmm. on uh, yeah. uh, stages of uh, breakups but those stages of breakups are not related to love or not related to anything else mm-hmm. but it's it's a it's like a uh a, a stand alone chapter in someone's life every mm-hmm. song is like that like Correct. um always in i always in my head is uh can also be something you know that yeah uh, you you've you've met someone new or you've met this old person who's still in your head and they can't sort of leave you and mm-hmm. then you've got magic and ink and i mean it goes on but it as you said it does go on in a in in the same stages as a breakup but it also has this all of these songs have this uh, uh a message that also you can take mm-hmm. stand alone yeah yeah like no definitely i mean um midnight is a mid track but yeah. it's also it's talking about a lot more things than yeah of how to achieve happiness probably and you know like leave a light a light on again mm-hmm. i mentioned it's it's hopeful and it it leaves you with that if you just listen to that yeah. one song yeah the album it leaves you with that feeling of uh, hope that leave a light a light on and yeah. that's where it ends and it it uh, all of these songs have this have the same yeah. feeling to them and the sky full of stars again it's uh, obviously it's uh, it's a sad song in a party way uh, yeah. mix mm-hmm. a remix of it yeah uh, but it's also so positive like it's so much yeah. positive energy yeah. because, because at yeah. the end of it you're a sky a sky full of stars yeah and that and um, yeah and obviously o o ends on a on a similar in a similar tune which yeah. how it's which all is started the beginning of the album yeah yeah, yeah. and oh. if you if you actually put it on loop it works because yeah. Yeah. it's the same music that continues yeah. to yeah so i was going to so, say like, that's why i think that you know the that that last bit at the end and the, and that is essentially that is titled o right and it almost it sort of feels like that's what the point is right it's like a loop yeah it's like a loop like Yeah, it's probably going to fall into it again. Yeah, yeah, and it's also the beginning of the album, and it's and then yeah. it's also titled "Oh," yeah. so it's it's it yeah. all it feels like it 
it, it sort of referencing that sort of infinity of going, going, kind going of through Pro probably the beginning of another breakup. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Exactly, <laughs> exactly that, right. <laughs> and but even if you play the album, it works because it just sort of it, it just resumes into the first track. Um, and I just got reminded of uh, Eminem's puke, and like, uh, there I go thinking of you again. <laughs> you again. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I think yeah, but... overall this was it's a it's a very sort of. It's a deeply personal album, I think. Yeah. Um, yeah. And both lyrically as well as musically, I think they've. It's it's definitely in. I mean, from from like a production perspective, right? The, the risks taken in this album. Um, not all the songs are like very mainstream appeal. I mean, I think "Sky Full of Stars" is the only one that really has, and "Magic," I'd suppose that that sound mm -hmm. that you might you know as producer you might be like, oh, this is going to be great. But a lot of the other songs are very sort of just their own thing. Um, yeah. and they just kind of run with it. And I think it really makes this album unique. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. That's true. Yeah, think, guys, uh, any to, sort of to, closing just, thoughts? Yeah. To, uh, I mean, to round it up from my perspective, I would uh, ask, uh, you know, what, what, for both of you, what were the, Initial thoughts. The first time, uh, I think, Pranke, this was your first time listening to the album as a whole. Yep. And uh, I think, well, Suraj has already mentioned, but what what is it that you took away, like, just in one sentence? What What is it that you took away from the album? Because it's a story, and it's a story that you don't really pay attention to. I mean, right now, because we're discussing it, so you guys pointed out that mm -hmm. it's a flow. Mm -hmm. But I mean, these are parts of someone's life at some points of time. And yeah. uh, so what is that one sentence that you would like to you know, give out for ghost stories as a whole? Well, like the first, I'd say the first time uh, when I heard the whole album, I mean, definitely I was like, the guy is really got his heart like smashed to pieces. You yeah. know, like he is <laughs> really like he's poured his heart out in this yeah. album um and i think even now that is what my takeaway is in terms of you know it's it's something very deeply personal but it's very raw and the sound is also very like raw in certain parts of the album to like reflect that um but it does end on that sort of note of flying on moving on um yeah. but yeah i just you know i just think it's it's just it's something very personal and raw and it's just a guy just putting his heart out, <laughs> you know, this is what he has. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, the other thing would be that, so yeah, it's, it's deeply personal uh, to the band. And the other thing was, which really intrigued me was the whole album sounded like one whole song. Mm -hmm. well, like this one whole song, which had like so many emotions, which were amalgamated towards the end. Like, you know, it all sums up, um, like about this one uh, phase of your life mm -hmm. like you know it's it's not life but that one particular phase of your life which really transforms you into a new newer or a better person so yeah for me it, it did that like, yeah, you know, right. transforming, transforming it is that the transformation i think is a big yeah. part of of this journey, isn't it? From the first yeah. song to the last song. From the first one. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's a good one. Yeah, yeah but it, it does start on a happy note with Always in My Head and it ends on a happy note. I Well, yeah, you um, can fly on, yes, and even in Sky Full of Stars, like since Sky yeah. Full of Stars, it sort of yeah. uh, gets it. that happiness. Get it. Yeah. Yeah. Is it like Always in My Head starts with something a start of a relationship like you know when you're going all crazy <laughs> and you want to give it everything like you know yeah. you can and then it's it's that journey like you know yeah. when you yeah. really want to fall in love or you when you really are in love uh, with something and it's 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 about that phase yeah. like you know no matter mm -hmm. if it's a person like like i said 
no matter if it's a person or it could be anything like you know your work your passion or your your job probably but uh, it's just about that one phase where yeah. you yeah so uh, where you uh, get like you know all yeah kya bolte usko mukti ko kya bolte hai like you know that uh, what do you call it so free Probably. yourself from yeah, from free i guess yourself. in a sense yeah. you 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 come enlightened or you i said so i think it's the better analogy is like yeah, you free yourself from all of that yeah baggage in a certain sense. that baggage exactly yeah. yeah expose yourself to your deepest fear deepest memory <laughs> the fear has no power and the, yeah. and the, and the freedom the shrinks and vanishes you are free you are free nice. you fuck you morrison nice. <laughs> that, that, right. 27 years <laughs> yeah. what a life what a life <laughs> imagine jim morrison uh, could play yeah. uh, playing together <laughs> And um... I mean <laughs> All right guys. Oh, um... <laughs> yeah, anyway. Yeah, sorry. Before I think before we go completely off the rails. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um but yeah, I, do you guys have any other closing thoughts and uh I think I think you've summed it up really well Suraj. Uh Thanks. you know, it, it really is that transformation, that journey. Mm. Um But yeah, I guess you know, thank thank you for being with us today. Yeah, so much. Uh, it was great to get a super fan's perspective. <laughs> <laughs> fan fan number one. I don't know if I can call myself that there'll be bigger fans than me, but yeah, Absolutely like the biggest. Um <laughs> and who decides that? <laughs> <laughs> who decides that? <laughs> but yeah, uh but no yeah, thanks thanks for joining us today. It's been very yeah, insightful. Yeah. Um it's always great to get other perspectives. Um, yeah. on this on our very first night of the round table um and guys thank you very much for tuning in and we will see you next week or maybe in two weeks time we will have to see with another video thank you bye it's still in my head just this thing <laughs>